guys hello guys welcome to my youtube channel if this is your first time you're welcome it's your girl ceci today guys we'll be making something so sweet what is that we'll be preparing aero aero is vegetable consumed in cameroon in nigeria and other parts of the world in africa as i can say so today guys we'll be preparing this dish and it doesn't take too much time and it is so so delicious let's get to see the ingredients guys so this is what we call aero this is aero here we have water leaf this is how water leaf looks like you have to wash it and in case it has stems like this you make sure you reduce them like that before you, you chop it into fine slices so that it doesn't have too much steam in, in, in it okay guys here we have snails this is optional we have crayfish and here we have our cow skin in here we have a bit of stockfish and then some dry fish and two scotch bonnet pepper we'll be using maggi crayfish and some salt to taste here we have smoked uh, beef and here we have our palm oil so guys what we do is i have already i have already pre-fry i've already pre-fry pre-cooked this uh, cow skin snails and then stockfish because it's some it's little bit hard and then we our our smoked beef so guys we start what we we'll do is we will go in with our we will put in every everything together like the meat the cow skin i will not put pepper now a bit of stockfish maybe later i'll, I'll put the dry fish but for now those other ones are little bit harder. In goes our our cow skin, our smoked beef, and our stock fish. So guys, what we do is we on our our our, our stuff, and in now comes our water leaf. We are going to allow this water leaf and. The beef to cook like a two to three minutes and when it's tender we'll add our aero okay guys now you see i didn't i didn't add water into it because water leaf contain has a lot of uh, water on it is uh, uh, on it so what we do is you don't add any other uh, extra water because the, the water leaf is water uh, it's going to produce its own water so guys in in a, in in if you're in a, in, in in a place where you cannot have water leaf you can substitute it with spinach it saves the same purpose guys and it will come out still good all right so here we, we are going to add our our arrow into it and if you are you're the first time cooking this dish what you do is what you do is you, you boil your water leaf separately and then you, you you add your arrow and then you add your water leaf onto you you have that uh, that soft ten, uh, soft uh, mixture you, you so desire if you're afraid that your water leaf and arrow does not will not correspond what you do is boil your water leaf separately and then you keep it aside you add the arrow and you add the water leaf so that it will not be too soft or not too hard okay guys so here we are going to, to add in our our arrow no water at the end you will see how it will come out to be like remember guys you have to boil your cow skin your stockfish until it is tender before you start mixing everything up You mix it up like this. I 
allow the dry uh, the, the smoke fish because I don't want it to, to get scattered like I'll put it when I must have made this. Aero is so 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 tasty and delicious and it is mostly consumed with fufu, water fufu in Cameroon. You can also consume it with a bar. It is still good. You mix it up, mix it up like that. Guys, I want to use this opportunity to thank our forefathers for discovering this delicious uh, dish, you know. Yeah. And it is being said that in Cameroon, the Bayangis knows how to prepare this particular dish so well. So today, I'm, I'm a Bayangi woman. <laughs> Alright guys, you mix it until you see that it's a little bit not too dry, not too... Some people love it when their aero is soft. If you know that you want it, you want your arrow to be soft, you might chip in more of a uh, water leaf in proportion to the arrow you have. In Cameroon, we used to buy, maybe you can buy two bundles of water leaf and then you buy arrow like for 500. So we already knew that if you, if you take two bundles and then 500, you will go. So, but here in Europe, it's difficult to have water leaf. So, and then most of the time, even fresh arrow is also difficult. I had the privilege that one of our family friends had to travel and then he brought me this. So I was so, so happy that I had fresh arrow and water leaf. Like, guys, trust me, I can't wait for it to get me. It's been for ages since I last had arrow with water leaf and then like fresh arrow because I normally cook dry arrow. And most of the time, to have cow skin here too is still difficult. So today is. I'm going back home. In fact, I'm going to enjoy it the way we do it back in Cameroon. And thank you for my family friend who went an extra mile to bring me this water leaf and this fresh arrow and Cameroon Kanda. I'm so, so happy. Thank you. Okay, guys. You see, with no water yet, everything is getting softer. Like that. Mix it. That's like the way I'm doing it. Because the water leaf itself, it has a lot of water to eat. Yeah. And this particular dish, you can still do it just with your car skin and your your crayfish. So crayfish is more is most they're like the most important um, ingredient that boasts the taste of evil. Yes, as I can see. Mm -hmm. So guys, we will put in our, our dry fish now, I think it's too, I think I'm going to split it, mm. my goodness, just like that, okay. I can chip in my, I want my pepper to be tender, before it gets ready, so pepper can go in now. And then the way it's going. Yeah, guys, it's getting softer with the water leaf. Okay. And guys, since we'll be using crayfish, I just prefer to use Maggi crayfish. So now I'm going to put my salt to taste. When you put it, you taste it. If it's not enough, you add it. I cannot tell you to put two tablespoons or two cubes. And then in case you put, I don't know, the quantity of arrow you want to make. So you just put your maggi and your salt to taste. Yeah, guys. Okay. Just like the way I'm doing it. Stir it. Stir it like that. This dish is so, 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 so delicious. 
okay guys you can see it's a little bit soft now so what i'll do is i will add in my oil and then some people will like more oil in their arrow some people like it just a little bit some people go as far as using just vegetable oil it's still fine so whatever way you want it if you want more oil then you just have to add more of the red oil into it if you want it less just put a little bit it will still taste good though so here i have like a cup yeah so i'm going to put it that way and then i'll allow it to stand for some time and then i'll come and stir it and then show you how it looks like you see our arrow is getting ready guys remember we I pre pre boiled the, the cow skin just with salt and a bit of maggi. No other spices. Some people they even go as far as adding onion, but it's optional. You can. So, here are my snails, slow boy, as they do call it. If you don't have it, it's still optional. You can just go with what you have, guys. So. Already pre bought it still. Yeah, guys. You see the water leaf? No water, like it's not watery. So I didn't add any water at all. So the water leaf will leave a lot of enough water we needed for this particular arrow. Yeah, 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 yeah. My goodness, look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at how it looks like. Not too soft and not too like not too soft and not too dry. You see, this is the perfect consistency you want to have your hair. Huh? You have to try this, guys. It's so so delicious. And the last thing I always put is my crayfish. guys and then we'll allow it to simmer just for a few minutes and our arrow will be ready guys look at that oh my goodness Ooh. you have to try this at home guys arrow is so so delicious and this one of my my one of my uh, best meal i ever enjoyed wine in Cameroon you can try this guys it's so 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 delicious look at that look at this guys oh my 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 it smells heaven here in my kitchen look at this oh the cow skin is like inviting me to taste my goodness we have to taste it in case you taste it, it's not sweet enough, you can chip in a bit of salt or maggi. Look at that. Not too much oil. And that's how we go with this one today. So guys, our arrow is almost ready. I'll allow it to simmer for two minutes and then that's, that's already like, it's ready. So I'll just allow it to stand for two minutes and then I'll dish it out and show you how it looks like guys you need to try this at home what is that thing you think is difficult to do you just need to give it a try it's it's always good to give it a try if you fail the first time you're going to have it the, the second time keep giving it a try until you have it until you do it what is that thing in you that has been bugging you wanting you to do that you've been holding tight you don't want to do it give it a try nobody knows from there you might have your shine if it's cooking, cook. If it's selling, sell. Just start something small. Before you know it, guys, you will do well. And God will bless the works of your hands. Yeah, guys, you can do it. Okay, guys, I will show you how the outcome of our arrow is. Let's get back. Look at this. Oh, my, my, my. Look at the obstacles. This is the end product of our arrow. This is how we make arrow in Cameroon. It's so, 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 so delicious with water fufu, with a bar. Guys, trust me. 
so you have to give this a try give it a try guys give your family a treat once in a while why not come on guys give me a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel my youtube channel support me by subscribing give me thumbs up if this video was useful to you please i would like to have comments below because i'm anxious to reply till we see again guys stay safe stay blessed bye